everyone and welcome to another Pokemon card video! Today I'm going to be answering a question that I've seen all over the internet and I actually had myself for the longest time. Basically, Pokemon releases a lot of these jumbo cards, so how exactly can you store these? There's not a lot you can do because it's just so gosh dang humongous. So I think what a lot of people probably end up doing, what I did for a while was, I would just take a binder like this, just flip it open, shove the card in the thing right there, and there you go, that's how I'm storing it. Because what else can you really do, right? Um, I was wondering, is there like card sleeves you can get? Things like that, and I couldn't really find any answers to that, so I went ahead and did some research myself, bought a whole bunch of stuff to try a bunch of things out. So I'm just gonna let you guys know how it went for me, what I found, and I'm gonna split this up into two parts. Well, one video, but two parts of the same video. First, I'm gonna talk about what we can do individually for the cards, and then I'm gonna talk about what we can do as far as storing them in binders. So, you might have noticed, first off, these actually have some card sleeves, so... Basically what I have are these right here. These are not actual card sleeves, they're photograph sleeves, but well, there's no card sleeves as far as I know that are this size. So what I got here is six by eight photograph sleeves and they fit pretty good. You can see that there's a little bit of slack on the sides there, but as far as top bottom, they're pretty much, they're pretty much as close as you're going to get unless someone comes out and makes like custom jumbo Pokemon card sleeves. I should mention that these are all the X and Y jumbos. I'm not sure if the older Pokemon jumbos from you know, back in older generations. I don't know if those are different sizes, but all of the X and Y jumbos are perfect fits for these 6x8s here. I think they're a little bit less than 6 inches uh, this way, and just about 8 this way, so it fits pretty good. But regular card sleeves, those work, but we also have some other options here. And before I get to that, I should mention the actual card sleeves that I use, the photograph sleeves here. They came in a pack of 100, and these were actually really hard to find. If you go to some store, you might be able to find 6x8 photograph sleeves. The ones I'm using are BCW brand. I don't, obviously the brand doesn't really matter but um, I actually could not find these almost anywhere I couldn't even find them on Amazon I had to go to eBay to find these but you might have better luck finding them but that's what they are just six by eight photograph sleeves they fit pretty good now there are also top loaders you can get so here I've got some six by nine ultra pro top loaders and over here we've got some photograph top loaders once again from BCW six by eight now these top loaders you usually probably see these for regular size cards but they're just Giant sleeves that are a little bit firmer. It's still kind of floppy, but you can see it's a little bit more stiff there. So that'll help protect it a little bit better from bends, but that's pretty much all it does. Now, there's kind of some awkward stuff to this. The 6x8, of course, fits really well. And let me see if I have a card. Uh, let's see. Here we go. This one right here is actually directly inside a top loader just like that. But a lot of people like to double sleeve where you'll put on like the floppy sleeve, you'll put on the little little photograph sleeve here, and then you'll put it in the top loader. But what I found is that there's some slight manufacturing defects or there's some like slight uh, variations. So basically, each of these different sleeves are like slightly wider or slightly uh, more narrow, and these are like slightly wider and slightly more narrow. Nothing you would really notice if you just look at it, but the problem is that the 6x8 BCW top loaders, uh, or sleeves, sometimes do not fit inside the top loader. So you would think they'd fit perfectly because they're from the same brand, but sometimes they don't fit that well. Um, basically, you'll just have to test out a bunch of different sleeves and find one that works if you want to do the double sleeving. Here I have one that fit pretty well. You can see the plastic kind of wrinkled up a little bit inside. Sorry for the glare right there. So that kind of works. Uh, sometimes they'll be a lot worse and they'll crinkle up a whole lot more like that. Uh, and sometimes it just won't fit at all. Now over here, I've got the uh, 6x9 Ultra Pro ones. These ones don't fit as perfectly in terms of the top not matching up with the top of the card. But for some reason, even though they're a separate brand, this card lines up a lot better. So it's much, much easier. This one actually has a, a photograph sleeve on it. So it fits inside the top loader much better. So those are pretty much all the options you have in terms of just storing the cards. So you could go ahead and just have this displayed on a shelf. You could, well, just protect it like that. You could go put it back in the binder like I showed at the start, but just with some more protection. That's pretty much it. You can either just go directly into the top loader, go directly into the photograph sleeve. You could double them up. Whatever you want to do, just keep in mind once again that the 6x8 BCW ones that I tried don't work that well with the sleeves, so it works a lot better with this. So that's just what you can do with the individual cards. Now let's go to the binders. All right, so let's get to the fun stuff. First off, you could buy a binder that's the right size to actually fit this. The problem is I had a lot of trouble finding a binder that was the right size. Again, you want something that's about 6x8. This is actually a scrapbook binder, which is... This brand right here, Simple Stories. The problem is it was very expensive and it doesn't match up with the, all my other binders that are normal size that I have, you know, all of my other cards stored in. So that's kind of a problem. Uh, but I will say it does fit really well. So here we've got a bunch of like these little sleeves so I can take my card. This one's in a top loader. You can just put the card in directly. You can put the card in with the top loader and it'll fit inside these little pages. And there you go. 
guilt. Get inside there, and there you go. So now I've got a binder that's pretty well fitted to these guys. The problem is you've only got this many of these little dudes, and again, it was very expensive. So if I ended up getting more jumbos than this, I'd probably have to buy some more, and that would be ridiculous. And honestly, this is an option, but if you can find a cheaper uh, binder this size, it might work a lot better. But I have some other options that I liked a lot more. So here's what I actually like doing. I got the standard page size stuff that you'd use for your regular binders, and we've got these one pocket pages. Now this kind right here is basically just what you would find at any kind of office store, just a regular old document sleeve. Uh, that'll fit uh, these guys inside, and you can just slip them in, and then you can fit them inside an actual binder. Not the most elegant thing, but we'll get to that. We'll get to some more fancy stuff in a bit. So there's a base thing, uh, thing. you can just slip it in like that, and then hook it up to a binder. Um, these are a BCW brand one once again. Not sponsored by BCW or anything like that, they just happen to have uh, all this stuff. Usually Ultra Pro will have all the same stuff as well, or whatever the heck other brand as well, so that's just a regular one pocket page. But, we can make them look a lot nicer if we do one thing. So we've got our gosh dang little one document thing here. We've got our card inside of it. Now, let's do something fancy. Oh, by the way, here's the uh, little logo for the one pocket page. It's eight and a half by 11 right there. All right, so here's the fun thing. I got over here, uh, I got this thing. It's kind of a huge stack, but I've got these. These are some magazine boards. If you ever collected magazines or if you collected uh, comic books or anything like that, you might have seen something like this. These are, again, 8.5 by 11, so they fit inside those one uh, pocket pages perfectly. But basically all this is is like a piece of cardboard that gives it some like stiffness or rigidity, whatever you want to say. So we can slip that inside the sleeve. Let me pull one of these guys out. So we'll pull one of these sleeves out. Sorry if it's hard to see what's going on on the camera. All this stuff is so big, so it's hard to get it focused well. But yeah, basically we can stick this inside here. So now the page is a lot more solid. But what we can do is we can then put this guy inside here. Now there's going to be one more step to make this a little bit nicer. But you can then put it inside there so that'll hold it firm. And there you go. So now it's pretty much bend proof. But of course it has the issue where it still sags all over the place. So here's what I actually decided to do. Okay, so here I've got the Flygon EX Jumbo. And basically what I've done is I've taken one of those photograph sleeves. I got some double-sided tape. It's going to be really hard to see on camera. But I got some double-sided tape and I just stuck it to the middle right there. Now you could get a lot more precise with this. You you could uh, actually like measure things out. This one's not particularly well centered, but you can make it look as nice as you want. And what that'll do is it'll keep the sleeve directly in the middle and the tape is on the sleeve. It's not going to be on the card and the card will cover the tape. So once it's in there, it'll actually look pretty nice. It's got this nice border and everything and that'll make it so it stays centered once it's inside your binder. So now we can take our little binder here. We can just slip it inside the crud. Get in there. Yeah. Crutter! I had to move my camera back a little bit so you can even see this. Gosh dang, it's so hard to get these jumbo guys on screen. But there you go, you can see it's actually now it's centered, it'll stay there. It's got the firmness from the thing. Uh, the one on the next page I actually centered up a little bit better. Here we've got the grout on one, so that one's a little bit more centered. But I think that's probably the best and kind of fanciest way to actually store these guys. Let's get the magazine boards, just tape down the sleeve to it. You could tape the top loader as well, but the top loaders are a bit thicker, so I kind of like the sleeves just because they're thinner and it'll be more flat here. But yeah, just tape it to the middle, and that way when you flip through, they're already centered. That's what I'm going to do for mine. I'm going to store the entire binder just like that. If you wanted to, you could even take the board... Uh, with the thing taped to it and all that and you could actually put it in a picture frame if you wanted to if there's just like one or two cards You have that are really cool that you'd like to hang up you could do that as well But in terms of just storing as many cards as possible This is how I'm gonna be handling it. I think this just looks the nicest It's gonna line up with the actual binders I've got on my desk uh, or on my shelf a lot better than this crud will and honestly with how expensive this was, this was like over 20 bucks, I think, for this thing. Uh, you will have to buy the magazine boards and the one pocket pages and the binder. And it's kind of expensive up front, but look how gosh dang many I have. I don't think this was too much more expensive than that. I think everything together was probably around 20 or 30 bucks. But basically, no matter how many jumbos they release, I'm going to be good from here on because I've got, gosh dang, like a hundred of these things. So, yeah, I think I'll be fine. So that's how I'm going to store my things. I just wanted to give you guys some ideas. Find out what works best for you if you guys have some stuff you want to store. And I guess just go with that. You could store them by themselves. You could get the boards, be all fancy, hang them up on your walls, whatever you want to do. But I just thought I'd share some ideas that I had and maybe it'll work out for you too, guys. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care!